22 years now, and um, you know, I miss it like it was just yesterday. Tonight, a break in a cold case in Opelousas. Police tell us a serial killer serving prison time in Texas confessed to that crime. Opelousas police say 78 year old Samuel Little, who's already been sentenced to three life terms in California for cases there, strangled Melissa Thomas in 1996. Thomas's body was found on the property of Little Zion Baptist Church near the cemetery. As Kendria LaFleur reports, it's a step toward closure for her family. It gets to a point where you just want to break and give up, but I learned, you know, patience is a virtue. And just through the whole ordeal, I had patience. It's patience that's taken 22 years for the Thomas family to finally get answers as to who killed their sister, Melissa Thomas, in 1996. It's been 22 years now, and, um, you know, I miss it like it was just yesterday. The case was reopened in 2009 when Melissa's sister reached out to police. One of the things that compelled me was when she said that her parents died from a broken heart. And she said, you know, I really would, I would have loved for them to know what happened to her. And she said, I want to know what happened. And this year, Opelousas police learned about Samuel Little after Texas police told them he had confessed to murders similar to Melissa's. It's just shocking to know that that many people was murdered under one person. And it took that long to be, you know, to catch this guy. Bitter but sweet, it still hurts, you know. I can, I can, I mean, it's, words can't explain, you know, I, I just thank God that it's done and she's at rest and she's can, she can rest and my family also can uh, be at peace now. Melissa's memory remains with her family who are still coping with her death. You learn to forgive. It gives us the closure, but I still have questions as to why. And it's a scar that was open, but it won't be a deep wound as it was before. In St. Landry Parish, Kendra Lafleur, KATC TV3.